Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Town of the Lost Witch. So... I have no idea what we should be doing right now. Well, I do have a bit of an idea. It's more like I have no idea where we should go. But I think I might need to find a calendar. I don't think I saw a calendar anywhere before. Also, I took I took a look at the uh, game page again, and apparently the game length is between four to five hours. So yeah, it's a bit longer than I thought it would be. I was thinking it would be like two to three hours. Wait, what? Oh, the- oh, this guy's gone. Well, never mind the calendar, then. I know where we're going. Yeah, me neither. Oh yeah, now I really can't. I mean, I could vaguely see it before, but now I... Wow. Okay, that's much better. Hold on, do we have limited matches? Hopefully not. <laughs> I gotta say, so far, though, I am enjoying this. It's got an interesting story and good atmosphere. Good town and area design, too. Oh, wait, I see a lever over there. Okay, I think I'd opened up this path here. Wait, did I check this? No. Or if I did, you know, if I did, there's nothing there. Huh. Okay, then. Uh-oh. I'm not going to do that? Wait, I need to know where that sound is coming from. Oh. That is a really big monster. I, I thought that was just like a zombie or something. Oh, finally! Oh, you can only charge them once? Oh. That bites. Okay, use the flashlight very sparingly then. That better not have done what I thought. I think it did. Okay, good, that's still closed. Looks like a mutated bear or something, I don't even know. Okay, so we got a flashlight. Hmm. Wait a sec. Hold up, wait, I opened- wait, that switch opened something here, didn't it? Because I couldn't get over here before. Now what's in here? Ah, oh, the mining warehouse key, okay. 
You know, I'm just curious. Does anything anything happen if I push this over here? Apparently not. Not really sure why that's there then. So where was that mining warehouse at? What? Well, bummer. No, let's not do that plot twist. Or, you know, you could just go downstairs, flip the switch again, unlock the door. I mean, it's not like we need the other thing open. We got the key. Or, you know, smash a window. I don't know. Dude, there's ways you can get out of there. Quite a typo there. I don't know. Let's go check. Oh, it's not. This is certainly a weird town. So not only is it plagued with monsters, it also has Eternal Night. It's probably also part of the Witch's Curse or whatever. Okay, that's the... Well, no, actually, I should go in here and save. And progress saved. Okay, now where was that mining warehouse? Was it here? Yes. Do I see a lamp or something I can light here? Oh, that's a painting. Oh no, I see lights over there. Well, it didn't light up too much. Underground Tunnels Project. Why were they building an underground tunnel system? Preparing for an upcoming apocalypse, maybe? Of course, you know, every game has a sewer level. But 
the witch? Vital medicine. Well, I should try using the flashlight. Okay, the battery doesn't go down extremely fast. I mean, considering how many, you know, charging plugs there are around the town. With it dropping at this rate, it shouldn't be too hard. I'm noping out of here for a sec. Just because I'm curious, like, well, what was, who was knocking at the door? Or, no one? Or did I miss an event or something? I don't know, go into the creepy sewers. With Resident Evil music? I don't know, this sounds like something from Resident Evil. I think it's Resident Evil, I'm not sure. Oh, hey, save point. It might be the Resident Evil 1 remake, or... Resident Evil 2 or 3, it's one of them three games, I'm positive. Okay, let's not mess with that yet. Let's explore around a little more first. Okay, that's locked. I was thinking there was a path down here for some reason. Okay, good. Well, I guess we have to turn the crank then. Wait, what? I don't know what that opened. <laughs> I, I'm guessing, like, left or right will open one of the two doors. But then if you don't get out of the room quick enough, you get locked in. That's probably what it's about. Yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm gonna wait to be safe. What? Why is a crank? Um, please go away! Ow! Ow! I'm dying!
Aha. You know, I don't... It said something like, if, if you die, you, you don't get a game over, but something else happens. So, uh, yeah, I think we just saw the something else. I don't think that'll impact the ending in any way, but just to be safe... And, you know, to save health anyway. I, I should probably just reload if I die. Okay, grab that. Was that thing in here before? Okay, so if we turn it to the left, It'll probably open that. Well, let's find out if this locks us in. No, it didn't. Okay, so... Whatever that right... You know, whatever the right crank opens... It's definitely not here. <laughs> well, at least we got this open now. I was thinking one of the cranks would open that, but I guess not. Oh, that moves that thing around. Uh, sure. Purple chest key. Hmm, now where could the purple chest be? Heavy hammer. Okay. Sounds handy. that name again. Oh, I thought that was a crank. That's a handle. And I see another purple chest over there. Oh, hey, Ethan. Okay, are we bringing clones and doppelgangers into the story now? Either that or he lost his memory or something? Or... Huh. Or maybe it's a time loop. Like, maybe time is looping for everybody else and their memories, like, reset each day or something? Like, maybe it happened when we slept.
Or maybe not. Must be a doppelganger. Same here. Oh, we still have a purple chest key? I guess we can open more purple chests then. And good, my battery was not dropping during cutscenes. I was wondering about that. Oh. Well, that's clearly where we're supposed to go, so let's check around a little bit more. What's in this pipe? And also, wait, actually, wait, before we do this, can I go this way at all? No, I cannot. I thought we were going to come out in that other room. Go away. I guess the hammer don't work. Okay, so we can take like four hits. Okay, move it! Oh, we're in that room! Okay. Well, that explains why Big Ugly's there. I think going and saving now would be a smart idea. I still don't know what in the world this actually opens, because... Wait, let's read this again. I don't even know. 
It said it would be indicated on the door, though, so maybe I should just... Hmm. I don't know. I guess for now I should just go through the door I unlocked over here. Because I don't think I've seen any other locked or closed doors that that could be. I guess I should also destroy all these barrels. I'm sure one of them will have a key item somewhere. Well, that's a dead guy over there. Okay then, and that's a dead end. Hold on. Well, the only other locked chest I've seen was in the mining warehouse, so... Guess we should go investigate that. Oh, it is for that chest. Sewer cell key. Good. And let me guess, we're gonna go back there, and Ethan's gonna be gone. Again. Oh, didn't mean to save twice, oh well. Oh, that's not good. Oh, he's still there. A wrench and an auxiliary key.
Where are those pills that Ethan gave us before? Now that I think about it. Maybe they just don't appear in the inventory as an item. Either that or he took them immediately. I don't remember. Anyway, I think we will end this episode here. And next time, we'll find a way out of the sewers and maybe learn what's going on in this town. Or at least learn a little bit about it. See you, everyone.